guys, it's Megan. I have a feeling we are going to be here for a long time. I have a shit ton of empties and I have some weird ones. Like I put in food stuff this time because I finished so much food that I needed to tell you guys about. Like I didn't, every time I finished something, I didn't put it in here, but I had a nightmare last night that my dad thought that these like wrappers were trash and he threw them out before I did my empties and I was so mad I was like crying about it in my dream it was so weird so I want to show you guys the stuff before my family throws it out because they think it's trash because it is trash but anyhow I have so much stuff I can't even tell you so we might be here for a long time which I'm excited about first let's start with makeup okay I used most of my sample of the YSL Touche Clot Foundation, which was in Beige Rose 20. Amazing color match. Not my favorite foundation. It's way too glowy for me. It got, like, it looked beautiful when I first put it on, but a few hours into the day, I was, like, glow central. Like, I was way too glowy for my taste. So I'm really happy that I got a sample from Sephora. I've never asked for a sa sample before. So I'm really happy that I did instead of just buying it and being like sad about it. So yeah, if you like really glowy foundations, that might be an awesome option for you. But for me, it just wasn't what I like. Okay, I'm going to throw this out. This is the color tattoo in Sleek and Spice. I had an epiphany that this just isn't working for me. It creases every day and it's just kind of dry. So I'm going to throw this one out and then I'm trying out my Black Orchid one today. I'm wearing that and see how it goes, if it creases or what. And if it does, I'm done with color tattoos. Speaking of creasing, um, I think I'm going to actually hang on to this. I had this to throw out, but this is my Urban Decay Primer Potion Professional Size, and I thought this was getting old so it wasn't working, but it might just be the color tattoos. So I'm going to actually set that on my vanity and um, test it out some more because there's so much product in there, and it's... I love the texture of it more than any other eyeshadow primer I've ever used, and I'm comfortable with it, so... If it's just the color tattoos, I don't want to throw that out. And Natasha gifted that to me so generously. And I don't just want to get rid of it just because I think it's not working. I think it's the color tattoos. So I'm going to keep that actually. This month I used up the Clinique Chubby Stick in... This is the Moisturizing Lip Color Balm in Super Strawberry. I love this. This was a 100 point perk. Oh, I have swatches on my hand from a haul I just filmed. And that is the color... It is gorgeous. I used it until it was like scratching my lips. I love the texture of this. It felt very luxurious. I love that it gave a nice amount of color, but it wasn't like super opaque. I really, really, really love this. And I would possibly purchase a moisturizing lip balm from Clinique in the future. I used up a sample. Oh, this is my Vince Camuto. I was at my new job. I always have like a perfume in my office and so I had this one and this is my Vince Camuto and this one I think was getting old so it didn't smell right but Vince Camuto is like my number one favorite scent of life. This is weird but this is kind of a story. This is a little mascara wand that I got from Sephora because at the Clinique area all of their mascaras have a little sample wand that you could take. They're individually wrapped. And so I took one for the bottom lash mascara just to try it out. I'm sure they don't want you to take them, but I took one just to try it. And I'm going to buy the bottom lash mascara because I love this, like, the itty bittiness of this wand. But I know that the formula of the bottom lash mascara is probably more suited for your bottom lashes than my current mascaras and it was like getting all clumpy because it wasn't small enough to like um get all the product off of this really small wand so I will be purchasing the Clinique bottom lash mascara to give that a shot for myself I used up this cover fx calming primer which I did like it's more of like a moisturizing primer and I'm testing the waters of not using primers so I probably won't purchase this in the future it's more of a lotiony consistency which I like but I don't I just don't know if it really helped me. This, this was such a sad day. I finished my NARS Rakugian. I used it until it was like scratching me and giving me splinters in my lips. 
This is my, one of my, I just filmed my haul and I was talking about this. This is like in my top three favorite lip products of life. Nars Rakugian is so beautiful. Let me see if I can get a swatch without killing myself. So there is a swatch of it. It is one of their satin lip pencils from NARS and it gives the most beautiful like sheen to your lips but it's not like glossy. It is gorgeous. The color is perfect and I will repurchase that for the rest of my life. And my last like makeup-y thing is the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment. This is one of my favorite lip balms ever. I dig into this every time I get one. This I believe is one that Zoe sent me in that little kit and I love this. This is after the Jack Black lip balm for daytime. This is my second favorite daytime lip balm. It's so nourishing on the lips. It sticks around. It's beautiful, beautiful. I love it. And the way I get every last drip out of um, this is I just take a Q-tip. I really like those pointed ones for makeup. And so I dig into there and I can get every last drip out of it. I love, love that. Okay, on to the rest of the craziness. Let me do some of these food things first. This I'm obsessed with. This is from Target, the Simply Balanced Dried Mango Sweeten. This is adult fruit snacks. I know I just said that in my weekly repeats, but it really is. It's like that chewiness of fruit snacks, but it's real fruit. It's awesome if you want to give your kids something more healthy, but has that like chewy feeling to it. It's delicious. The mango is my favorite. I tried the cantaloupe because I love cantaloupe, but it I didn't like the way that that tasted, but this dry mango is insane. You have to try that. And then another, I'll do the food stuff now to get rid of it. Um, these are my favorite chips ever. These are the Lay's Kettle Cooked Wasabi Ginger. These were like limited edition from the thing where like, People come up with flavors and they pick certain ones that go into production. These wasabi ginger ones are amazing. Me and my sister can finish like a bag like this in like two sittings. It is disgusting but delicious and it's like I don't like wasabi or ginger when I eat sushi. I just hate it but in these chips it's amazing. It's like spicy and like savory and amazing and if you can ever find these buy them and try them yourself because you'll become hooked and then you'll be so depressed because you can never find them anywhere and then you'll die this was something that my friend lynn sent me in our snack swap i know i never showed you guys it in a video but i posted it on instagram and these are the tim tams chewy caramel cookies and we have since purchased more of these because my dad is obsessed with them. They really taste like Twix bars. They're so, so good. And um, I tried them in the fridge. Like she told me to put them in the fridge and then eat them. I didn't really like that as well. Peachy told me a really like long process to eat them, which I haven't tried yet, but I will now that we have more. But these are really good. And I thought these were like only in different countries, but apparently you can buy them at Target. So you can buy those at Target. And then speaking of peachy, she sent me this amazing chocolate that will change your life. It is the BT Micklerath Chocolatier Salty Dog Chocolate Bar. <sighs> this is life-changing. I have never been one that's like a chocolate connoisseur. Like I just, my favorite chocolate is Hershey bars. Like that is my number one. This is everything. This is so like, I feel like a fancy ass person eating this chocolate because I feel like it's so complex and it's so amazing. And I wanna talk about it in the Food and Wine magazine. Like it is so freaking good. The only problem is that I can't like buy it anywhere. This is made in uh, Minna, Minneapolis, sorry. <laughs> Minneapolis and so it's easy to get for peachy but for me it's like impossible I have to order it on their website and like it's expensive to because they don't have free shipping but I am gonna buy this so the like description of it is butter toffee pieces in 70% dark chocolate with sea salt it's amazing you have to try it life-changing okay I think the rest of this is beauty stuff and I'm just amazed with how much is here okay 
I used up this pumpkin twirl from Philosophy shower gel and this was my last one. Ew, there's hairs all over it. That is gross. Um, this was in a three pack that I got from TJ Maxx when Courtney and I went shopping in July, July, <laughs> January. And this was the last one in that set and none of these smelled like anything to me. Like I just, I swear I hold my breath in the shower. Like I hardly ever smell anything like any products that I use. Um, so I'm not going to buy more philosophy shower gels. I say that now, but I bet future scents will catch my eye and I'll want to buy them. But this was the one I was most excited about the pumpkin and it really didn't. I mean, in the bottle, I can smell it, but I couldn't smell it when I poured it out. Even when I took my washcloth and I was like smelling it, I couldn't smell it. So no. Also something I got when Courtney and I went shopping at that same TJ Maxx was the Cebu Beauty Sea Buckthorn Bal Balancing Facial Cleanser. This is the second time I've purchased this and I really love it. This is something I solely use in the shower. I love it because it has a pump. All you need is one full pump and that is the perfect amount for your whole face. I've been using this, I'm going to say since February and it lasted me to the end of April. So that's a really long time for this small little bottle to last you. Um, I will definitely repurchase it. It's kind of a pain to buy it. But if I ever saw it at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls and I was in an, in the need for a shower facial cleanser, I would so purchase this. It's like gentle, but it has little itty bitty exfoliating pieces. It's not like beads or anything. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's so gentle. It's so amazing. I just never take it over my eyes because things with little like exfoliators, I never put over my eyes, but, um, it's all natural. It's wonderful. I love it. It's just like a go-to basic face wash. It's awesome. Okay. I used up one of my Colgate Optic White um, toothpastes, the Platinum Express White, whiter teeth in three days. I think I got this from Influencer or something. Um, I didn't notice it white in my teeth in any, any way. I need to do my white strips this week because I've been noticing my teeth aren't as white as they could be. But Optic White by Colgate is the toothpaste I always purchase now. It's just a plain white toothpaste. It's minty. It does the job. And it doesn't have those little blue particles like the Crest 3D White does that were getting stuck in my gums and just freaking me out. So I buy um, Optic White now. This I'm throwing out. This is the John Frieda Color Refle Refreshing Gloss Weekly Salon Treatment for Cool Reds. This is basically completely full. I used this twice. First, I think it broke me out. Second, it did nothing. It's like a bright, like purpley color. It comes in, like it squeezes out like that. And you're supposed to put this in your hair in the shower every week and leave it in your hair for like a certain number of minutes. And it's supposed to like leave behind some color residue to keep your hair looking fresh even when it needs to be dyed. It did nothing. All it did was like stain my hands. It didn't help my hair. It broke me out. I bought this when it was on sale and I had a coupon. So I got this for a dollar fifty, and that's why I bought it. Cause I kind of figured it wouldn't work for me. It seemed kind of gimmicky and most stuff breaks me out anyhow. So like, I'm glad that I tried it to get it out of my system, but I wouldn't recommend it cause it didn't do what it's supposed to do. I think it would probably work if you put it on like dry hair. Like I don't know how it's supposed to sink in in wet hair. It just doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah, th I'm not going to try that again. This is the Equate Anti-Plaque Dental Rinse. And I love this. I use this before I brush my teeth every night to I get plaque behind my bottom teeth because they're crooked and I'm prone to plaque anyhow. So I just went to the dentist, so I'm like kind of bitter about it. But this stuff really helps like break that up before you brush your teeth. And then when you brush your teeth, it like swishes it away. And then now I have to use Listerine afterwards because apparently I have even more teeth problems than I thought. And so now I have to do all these steps, which is really annoying. But um, this is a must for me. I didn't always use this. And when I don't, 
I really noticed the buildup of the plaque. So if you have similar problems, this might be something really good for you to look into. I don't know. It works for me. My dentist said that it's pointless, but it works, so I'm not going to stop. Okay, a hand soap. This is the Wegmans Foaming Hand Soap and Sugar Cookie. We just had a little bit of this left. I don't know if I'm going to continue putting hand soaps in these because I don't see the point really because I don't have one that I really like but um this scent was okay but I wouldn't buy it again I don't know and then this I did want to mention though this is nasty this is the Bath and Body Works warm vanilla sugar antibacterial moisturizing hand soap this I don't even want to hold it up because it's so old I'm so ashamed this is is insanely old like you can just tell from the packaging how old it is I was gonna try to use it up but it is like seriously disgusting and it like is all separate and gross so this is going in the garbage it just reminds me of why I can't buy so much stuff and let it sit around like I don't want to waste but I'm not gonna use that this was something I really wanted to mention to you guys. These are the Refresh Optive Advanced Lubricant Eye Drops. And I had a lot of eye problems in April. I kept like scratching my eye and things kept getting in them. And I'm just so paranoid about my eyes now. But these really, really helped me. And I, I saved one to show you what it looks like. It's a single use little thing and it comes with like a little piece on here that you break off when you're ready to use it and then you can just go to town. It is amazing. It's so sanitary because you use it all at once and now I keep these at my office and in my purse just in case something like my eyes get dry and I can use these when my contacts are in which I'm not sure if you're supposed to but um usually eye drops when I use them with my contacts in just sting the crap out of my eyes but these ones didn't but I used them mostly when I wasn't wearing contacts because my eye was scratched and so I wasn't wearing contacts but I tried it with my contacts and I didn't have any problems but these are awesome I really recommend these I'm gonna purchase these like forever and this is just the brand we use I don't know if there's other brands but that's just the one we get I finished this last night. This is the Philosophy Fresh Cream Hand Cream. And uh, Philosophy hand creams aren't really that moisturizing. This scent is okay. People go like bonkers over this, but I don't really get it. Like, it's nice, but it's not my favorite. It's not like how I go crazy over their peppermint stick. That is like, <gasps> that's like amazing to me. This is okay to me, um, and I wouldn't purchase it again but it was okay but I like other hand cream formulas better and scents way better than that. This is a uh, soft shower cream from Eve Rocher that Anna sent me and this is in the purple rice from Laos flavor or scent or whatever. I couldn't smell this at all even in the bottle I can't like it just smells like nothing which I mean is nice. I did like this formula but I went through it so fast. I have two others that she sent me that I really like this formula but I go through it so quickly and I feel like I go through shower gel quickly anyway. I really like to use a lot and like lather up. Um, so I go through this really really fast and I'm savoring the um, what's the one she got me? coffee bean I'm saving that for last because I never want it to run out and um but this was okay I wouldn't ask for that again or purchase that myself oh this is something I'm throwing out that really didn't work for me this is the Shea Moisture Organic African Black Soap and I have like the whole bar left of this I used this for about two weeks and then I noticed that it was like that squeaky clean feeling that Courtney hates that now I hate because I I never really thought much about it but I really do hate it and this left my skin feeling that way and I just really hated it and I know that this works for a lot of people I've heard a lot of people talk about this in the past and I got this from pinch me for free so it's not a big deal for me to get rid of it but I did really want it to work for me but it just I hated the way it made my skin feel I used up these Peter Thomas Roth Unwrinkle Peel Pads, and this was something that Kristen Populous sent me, and 
I really didn't like these. These you had to, it reminded me of the First Aid Beauty pads, the weight, like the shape of them and the size, but you had to rinse these off after you use them, which to me was a step that I was really annoyed to take. Um, I'm sure that that wouldn't bother most people, or maybe it does, I don't know. But it was just, I didn't like feeling like I had to rinse it off. And I tried not to rinse it off one time, but it was like a sticky feeling. So I don't, I didn't really see any benefits with these. I'm glad that I tried them and used them all. Um, it has a lot of claims that it's supposed to do. I didn't really notice anything with them. Um, so I'm just going to stick to my First Aid Beauty ones and I know that they work for me. Similarly, I used up a uh, three pack of the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel Extra Strength Formula. This was a 100 point perk from Sephora like months ago and I loved this 100 point perk. Like I hope that they do more like skincare, really awesome skincare 100 point perks in the future because this is a really awesome way for people to try these more high end products. And these are, these pads I really do like but I don't know... I just don't know if they do anything like honestly I've used up a whole like 30 count of them and maybe it's because I don't use them regularly enough to like see anything but I think I'm just gonna hold off of on purchasing these maybe when I'm like a little bit older I'll buy those again but I just haven't really seen any difference whether I use them or not. I used this up, the Ren Vitamin Mineral Daily Supplement Moisturizing Cream that my friend Ellie, whose blog is Beauty Products Junkie, she sent me this, and I love the packaging of this. It um, pushed the product all the way up. It was an awesome pump bottle, and it smells just like Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Like, just like it. It's so nice. I think this is an awesome moisturizer for during the day for colder months or during the night for any time of year. This is super, super, super nice stuff. And I might buy this um, like in the future for a moisturizer. Right now I don't need one, but I did really like this. I really did. I wish I would have notated like when I started this. I kind of feel like I went through this quickly maybe, but um, I really did like it. It has like only good ingredients in it and I love the scent of it. But if I were to use it again, I used it 95% for day and like at the very end I used it for nighttime because it was getting warmer. If I were to do it again, I would probably use this mostly at night. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think that it says whether to use it during day or night. It doesn't really say. But I do think that this was really nice and I love trying that out. So thank you so much, Ellie. I used up a Bausch & Lomb Bio True contact lens solution. This is the contact lens solution I always use and it just does the job and yeah. Shampoo that I used up, Herbal Essences Naked 0% Parabens and Silicones um, Moisture Shampoo. This is not moisturizing, but I definitely really like it because it's silicone free and it doesn't irritate my skin or like my hair or anything. And it just does the trick, but I recently bought a Pantene silicone free shampoo that I can't wait to try. And I really prefer Pantene as a brand over Herbal Essences. I always used to use Pantene, so it's just like a it's like a memory thing. I prefer it more. Um, but if that one doesn't work, I would definitely repurchase this Herbal Essences. I've went through like two or three bottles of this and it's just easy. It does the job and it doesn't irritate me. So that is what I really look for. But I would never say that this is moisturizing. I know. This is awesome stuff. This is the Boshia Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. So, so good. Tatum sent me this to try and it is truly awesome. Like I've heard nothing but good things about this for all the years I've watched YouTube and it seriously, seriously is awesome stuff. I would definitely want to try this again. I don't know if I want to necessarily purchase it anytime soon because I have a giant thing of um, my Super Facialist by Una Brennan Vitamin C 
face like cleansing oil that I am working through that will last me months. Um, but I definitely would purchase this in the future. I loved it. Thank you so much Tatum for letting me try that because I enjoyed it so much. I used up the Ole Henriksen Sheer Transformation Cream and this is my last one that I had. I love this cream. It's just a very, very basic moisturizer. I got a bunch of these, not a bunch, like two or three at Marshall's around the holidays last year. It's awesome if you can get it on sale. It's such a, such a basic moisturizer that I would never pay full price. Like I would never do that. It's just too basic, but it is really nice if you can get it on sale or like in a kit or something. It's really, really nice, but it's not worth the full price to me. And I do prefer other moisturizers to this, but I still really love this. So um, take that as you may. I will definitely use this in the future in kits or what have you, but I wouldn't buy the full size for the full price. I use this sample of the Molten Brown Black Peppercorn Body Wash. This is a super high-end luxury um, shower, like, ba uh, body product brand. And I got this sample from Nordstrom, and I hated this scent. Oh my god, I hate this scent so much. I'm surprised I used up this whole thing. Um, I say that I hold my breath in the shower, but this I could smell. Like, I could totally smell it and I really didn't like it. It like lingered, the scent lingered and that's awesome if you like the scent but I hated the scent so um, that kind of puts a bad taste in my mouth for the brand and I didn't think the shower gel was that much different or better than cheaper ones so I probably won't look into that anyway. I use this Joy and Karma Hyaluronic Acid Serum with Vitamin C up and they had sent me this to review a few months ago and it was so cool because no company has ever sent me anything. But this was like a really weird consistency and I went through this so fast. Like I probably went through this in a month and a half, which is kind of unacceptable to me for like a serum to me is supposed to last for months and I'm, I shouldn't have to repurchase it that often but this was like a jellyish texture and I didn't really notice any difference to my skin when I use this and I do like that it's natural and they have an awesome money back policy so if you were to buy it and you just didn't really like it or you didn't see any difference they have an awesome one year money back guarantee. So I think that is pretty impressive for a company to believe in their product that much to stand by that like policy. Um, but I really wouldn't recommend this. I didn't notice anything and I won't be purchasing it with my own money. This was the Amarovixa Queen of Hungary Mist. Okay. I was so excited about this and I love the way that this smells. And, um, I have no idea if it did anything. I have honestly zero clue if it did anything. I got, I would say three or four uses out of this small thing, which is pretty cool, but I didn't know when to use it. I didn't, like, I knew how to use it, but I didn't know how to tell if it was doing anything. Like, I just couldn't tell. And I love the smell. It smelled amazing. And that reminds me of Spongebob. That smell, that smelly smell, that smelly smell, that smells smelly. What did you smell like? I can't remember. It smelled amazing. Like, possibly florally, maybe? I don't know. I can't remember. I really love the way this smells. I would love to get, if they have, like, a smaller size or something. I have no idea. I just have no idea. So, that is not helpful at all, but... Yeah, that is all I can say about that. <laughs> okay, I use a second toothpaste. Holy crap. This is the Colgate Optic White Platinum in Whiten and Protect. So this is like a purple label. They all work the same to me. Um, anything that says Optic White, I'll try. I used up a bunch of small sizes of floss. Um, I noticed that we had so many of these like small sizes, so I just used up a bunch Colgate, um, gum easy through, 
I just use them and I try to floss every night now. I didn't always do that, but I definitely recommend it mostly because then they won't yell at you when you go to the dentist, but they still yell at me anyhow. So what's the point? <laughs> okay. This was something I had in my empties last month, but there was still some in it. And this is the Lancome Genifique um, U Light Pearl Eye Illuminating Youth Activator. Ellie sent me this. I really liked it. It's like an eye serum with a look. There's probably going to be more in here, but even if there is, yeah, there's still, it's like impossible to get everything out of there, but it's just like you go like this under your eyes before you use your eye cream. And it's just really, really nice. I don't know if I would purchase this because I don't know if I saw a difference, but I liked the step. Like I liked doing it. Um, so I don't know if I could get another sample of it. I totally would. I never use up antibacterial stuff. Like I change it so often, like for the seasons that I never can get through it. So this is from like a few years ago. This is my favorite, one of my favorite um scents ever this is the apple wreath from bath and body works it smells so good you guys it smells like christmas like an appley christmas it is gorgeous if they have this this year i will so repurchase it because i love it and i always try to keep antibacterial um gel whatever it's called called in my purse and also at my desk at work because I feel gross all the time but somehow I never get through them but I did and I feel victorious okay lots of small samples this is something weird but I had to tell you about this so this is a pen and this is my favorite type of pen these are the sharpie pens not to be confused with like fine tipped sharpies these are the sharpie pens with a fine tip these are my best friend, my best pen. I don't know. This is my favorite pen. I love it. I will always repurchase it. It doesn't bleed through. So if you, I use a moleskin for my planner and it doesn't bleed through even though those pages are thin and it just writes so nicely, but they do run out kind of quick. But I wanted to mention this just in case you're in the market for a new pen. I love the Sharpie pens. I love the black ones, but I like getting the multicolor ones as well because it just spices things up. But I wanted to mention that. But the rest of this is beauty stuff. This was something else Ellie sent me. This is the Biotherm Skin Best Serum and Cream Concentrate. Instant Correcting Youth Protecting Concentrate for all skin types. So this was a cool concept. It was supposed to be like your moisturizer and your serum in one. And I really like this, but I don't know if I noticed any change in my skin. So I wouldn't purchase it because I'm sure this brand is very expensive. Ellie has a wonderful taste in all beauty things, but skincare, she's like the bomb. Um, I did really like this and I love that it, it had so much in here. Like I used this for probably two or three weeks and I really did like it, but I don't think I would purchase it. Okay, something I love and will always repurchase is the Tata Harper resurfacing mask. This is just a deluxe sample size that came, what did it come in? I don't know. Why isn't it opening? Anyhow, it's empty. This is my favorite mask ever. It just brightens your skin. It makes you look beautiful and glowing. It's awesome before any like special occasion. I think that this would be awesome like before your wedding or like some sort of event where you want to just feel beautiful and your skin look really awesome. I love this. It's like an all-in-one for me. It just does everything. It's beautiful and it's all natural. So oh, I can't say enough good things about the Tata Harper products that I've tried. This was so weird. I used this last night. This is the Simple Micellar Cleansing Water. Another thing that I got for free from Twitter. When this came, okay, this is like getting all messed up. This is how thin it was. And I was like, where is it? Like, is there anything in there? This is gonna be gross. But it was this little sheet. This is used, obviously. But it was just like a little thing that you were supposed to use. And I mean, it worked fine, but that is not how this product comes like why wouldn't you give it in like the liquid form why would you put it on a little piece of paper for me to rub on my eyes it was just so weird and um I don't know I just was so confused about that but it did kind of work it didn't take off my mascara but you know 
This is one of my favorite masks that I've tried. This is the Zaja Anti-Stress Mask that Anna sent me. This smells like coconuts. It smells amazing. I love this so much. And now that um, Chloe sent me the Thirsty Mud from Glam Glow to try, that smells the same. So I wonder if they'll be comparable. I have one more packet of this. This lasts me two, maybe three masks. Um, these small packets from Zaja. And this is my favorite one after. There was like a gray one. I love that one too. But this is awesome and I really love that. This is the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream, a standard eye cream that I really like to get samples of, but I don't think I would ever purchase. This is the Kate Somerville Age Rest Eye Cream. I love this eye cream. This is really, really nice. Whenever I can get samples of it, I always do. It's just really, I don't know, it... To me, it does something. Like, I can kind of tell a difference when I use it. It might be all in my head. It has a little bit of a silicone feel to it. And I just love this. It's very expensive, so I can't imagine buying it until I'm older when I need it more. But whenever I can get samples, I always do. I really recommend that. This is something I couldn't tell any difference from. This is the Strivectin SD Advanced Intensive Concentrate for Wrinkles and Stretch Marks. This is the smallest packet for like stretch marks which are on your body. So you need like kind of more. I put on my hips where I have stretch marks. And I mean, first of all, I didn't really like the scent of it. What did it smell like? It smelled like eucalyptus or something um I just didn't like the scent of it and there was so little in here I couldn't really tell if it was doing anything I don't really think things will ever get rid of stretch marks I think it's good to like massage them to help that skin but I don't know if any product can actually get rid of them so I'm skeptical of that anyhow this is the Hemp's Body Original Herbal Body Moisturizer that Tatum sent me and this this smells like something so specific in my past. Like, this smells kind of like bubblegum, but it's something so specific that I cannot figure out what it smells like. And it's a good smell, but because it drives me crazy, I don't know if I want to buy it. I know that that is so annoying, but I cannot pinpoint what it is. And every, like when I use this, this lasted me one application. All that night, all I could do was smell my arm and like think, what does it smell like? I couldn't figure it out. So um, I did really like the formula of this though. So you never know, I might buy that. I also used the um, Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Body Butter Cream. I had two of these. And this smells straight up like 7-Up. It smells sort of like Sprite, but to me it smells like 7-Up because they smell different to me. Um, I like the formula of this, but I didn't like the scent of it. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't buy that. I had a small packet of the Ole Henriksen Sheer Transformation Cream. This was barely enough for one use. I think that this was the stupidest sample ever, but Sephora gave it to me and Zuri when we went during the VIB sale, and um, I just think that's dumb. Like, there was nothing in here. But I I like that cream, so. Julep One Step Polish, pa Polish Remover Pad. These are nice for on the go, but I wouldn't ever buy them specifically from Julep because I don't think they're any different than ones you can just get at the drugstore. I didn't like this. This is the Philosophy No Reason to Hide Instant Skin Tone Perfecting Moisturizer with SPF 20. This is like really tinted. Like you can see that little smudge. Um, it's really, really skin tone, like tan skin tone tinted. So, and I didn't think it was moisturizing at all. So I didn't even finish that up. I didn't like that. Origins High Potency Night Amends Mineral Enriched Renewal Cream. I used this for one night and I don't, remember loving it or hating it but I probably won't buy that and then my last thing in here is oozing all over and it's making everything sticky it's the Tatcha Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil I really want to try more products from Tatcha after trying that it's a very high-end skincare brand but that Camellia Cleansing Oil was so good and I know that they have like a powder exfoliant as well that I really want to try but um 
very expensive so I'll wait till I need skincare and see how I feel but that was a really good cleansing oil so my camera I've been talking for so long today I filmed three videos and my camera literally only has three minutes left on it so I love you guys so much I hope you enjoyed my crap ton of empties including some really random food stuff that thankfully my dad didn't actually throw out and that was only in my dream but um, I love doing empties I'm so glad that you like them as well and you like my longer ones because they're like my favorite videos ever to film so and watch I love watching you guys empties so that is it I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend I really appreciate your time and I will see you all really soon bye